Federal Prison Industries, also known as UNICOR and FPI, is a wholly owned United States government corporation created in 1934 as a prison labor program for inmates within the Federal Bureau of Prisons, and a component of the Department of Justice. It is headquartered in Yazoo City, Mississippi. History A statute in May 1930 provided for the employment of prisoners. The creation of a corporation for the purpose was authorized by a statute in June 1934, and the Federal Prison Industries was created by executive order in December 1934. Topic: <laughs> Purpose While in the program, inmates are given vocational training. By equipping inmates with a skill set in a vocation, UNICOR aims to reduce recidivism and give former inmates the means to support themselves in post-institutional life. <laughs> Activities UNICOR operates at no cost to taxpayers, in that it receives no appropriated funds from Congress to run its operations. In fiscal year 2016, UNICOR had net losses of $18 million. In fiscal year 2016, approximately 17,900 inmates participated in the UNICOR program, which equates to approximately 10% of the inmate population eligible to participate in this program in BOP managed facilities. All federally incarcerated individuals are expected to work in BOP managed facilities. In general, those who choose to participate in UNICOR's voluntary industrial work program earn between 23 cents and $1.15 per hour. There are exceptions, in particular the Prison Industry Enhancement Certification Program, whereby inmates earn up to the prevailing wages paid for comparable work performed in the locality. Deductions are then taken for taxes, victim restitution, program costs and court-imposed legal obligations. In 2016, UNICOR generated $498 million in sales, of which 72% was used to purchase raw materials, equipment and other supplies to produce the products and services it offers for sale, 23% paid staff salaries, and 5% paid inmate workforce wages. In fiscal year 2016, FPI's business were organized, managed, and internally reported as six operation segments based upon products and services. These segments are agribusiness, clothing and textiles, electronics, office furniture, recycling, and services. As of August 2016, UNICOR operates 66 factory operations within 52 federal prisons, nationwide, offering more than 100 products and services in 80 federal supply classifications FSCs, in areas including clothing and textiles, electronics, fleet management and vehicular components, industrial products, office furniture, recycling activities, and services including data entry, computer-aided design CAD, and distribution. While UNICOR's customer base consists primarily of federal government agencies, it also collaborates with private sector companies to support their subcontracting needs. It offers qualifying U.S. manufacturers domestic facilities and inmate workforce resources to repatriate their operations, with costs comparable to those of offshore production and other benefits. UNICOR currently produces the Interceptor Body Armor Vest, primarily for foreign sales and international customers. Topic. Criticism Federal Acquisition Regulation FAR Subpart 8.6 outlines mandatory source procurement provisions under which federal agencies are to purchase products which are listed on UNICOR's schedule of products and deemed comparable in price, quality and delivery to those available from the private sector. While the guidelines differ slightly between Department of Defense and civilian agencies, in all cases decision-making purchasing authority rests with the agency's contracting officials. In 2003, UNICOR's Board of Directors exempted micro-purchase level orders of $2,500 and under from the FAR provision which required agencies to obtain waiver approval from UNICOR as a condition for purchasing like items from the private sector. In 2016, the board increased the administrative waiver 
amount to $3,500, in line with updated micro-purchase levels. Federal agencies are authorized to purchase services from FPI, but not required to do so. Under current law, all physically able inmates who are not a security risk or have a health exception are required to work, either for UNICOR or at some other prison job. Inmates earn from $0.23 cents per hour up to a maximum of $1.15 per hour, and all inmates with court-ordered financial obligations must use at least 50% of this UNICOR income to satisfy those debts. FPI has manufactured a diverse set of products, and provided a range of services offerings, in accordance with its statutory mandate, for the federal government for over 80 years. One report detailed a FPI operation at a California prison in which inmates de manufactured computer cathode type monitors. Industry standard practice for this mandates a mechanical crushing machine to minimize danger from flying glass, with an isolated air system to avoid releasing lead, barium, phosphor compounds to the workplace atmosphere. At the FPI facility, prisoners de manufactured CRTs with hammers. FPI initiated corrective action to address this finding, and claims to currently meet or exceed industry standards in its recycling operations. Helmets produced by FPI at one factory were at the center of a U.S. Department of Justice lawsuit and $3 million settlement paid by ArmorSource, the prime contractor. The U.S. Attorney's offices declined to criminally prosecute or file any civil action against FPI staff. The helmets were produced for ArmorSource between 2008 and 2009 and failed to meet standards. The DOJ investigation did not develop any information to indicate military personnel sustained injury or death as a result of the defective ARC helmets. Immediately after FPI leadership became aware of the manufacturing concerns surrounding the ARC helmets, FPI began taking corrective action. FPI recalled its only shipment of lightweight helmets for reinspection, and ensured no lightweight helmets manufactured at the factory were sent to the military. The recall of both helmets cost FPI $19 million. With Defense Contract Management Agency audit staff, FPI identified opportunities to improve its quality management system in areas including improved management staff oversight, proper control of quality procedures, training, and implementation of corrective action. FPI implemented new procedures to address these areas. Topic. See also Title 28 of the Code of Federal Regulations Penal labor in the United States Convict lease Chain gang Incarceration in the United States California Prison Industry Authority Re-education camp, disambiguation Gulag Laogai